My wife like is dropping randomly, so just fair warning. No problem. So I definitely, if it's okay with you, Hellbard, um, could we find a way to table my mission right now and go do somebody else's? Because um, she and I are part of the same um, uh, faction, yeah. so I don't really want to do this mission without her. So maybe we could like go and have like join Carter while he does the gauntlet. <laughs> I'm not the gauntlet, person. Uh, sure, we can. Uh, we can okay. do that. I mean, we might have to do like because we're in the middle of a like fight right now. But like, I figured once the fight was over, we could just like be like, okay, let's take a break and do Carter's mission. <laughs> oh, you were in a fight. We were yeah, in a fight. We out. were in a what? What are you talking? We were. were I mean, with the we orc. just finished with the the orc. Um, you guys just finished talking to the orc. Bitch, she grabbed my throat. That is a out. fight. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> Technically, not a fight, but... Mm. That is a fight in my elf book. <laughs> um, she is girly well, and upset. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. For some reason, my webcam is not showing again. Oh dear, no, no, it works. Well, I went dorm room shopping today. That was fun. Got all my stuff. Hello, Ryan, and welcome back. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello. First Wayne was going to be a little <laughs> late for today's session, but he will be here. So, anyone want to do the recap? Uh... <laughs> no. No? <laughs> what, do, what do you mean, no? I checked it. I don't know. Um, what I guess. Yeah, I don't know much more for that one. <laughs> uh, so last session, I guess we started helping um, the Harpers, uh, and and coincidentally, uh, Dayla and um, bad with names. Um, Natalie. Natalie, thank you. Um, with the, getting into there and being part of. Um, by they wanted us to find a talking horse named Maxine, uh, and learn if she's ID'd any of the Zentari Zentar operatives. Um, bitch, we went to a ball first. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, sorry, we talked to um, <laughs> we said that's actually an opera, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> Yeah, nice clothes, fancy clothes. Um, then we went to a what was it? Was it wasn't a ball? What was it? The opera. We went to an opera. Yeah, that's right. Opera, you, went to, an opera you, you were invited to an opera. Yeah, an opera where we met the operative for the Harpers, telling us to go find Maxine the talking horse. <laughs> and I didn't need ask if she was any did any Santari. Tara operatives. Um, that led us to go. She seen then told us once we found her that there is an orc. I'm blanking on the name of. Um, 
who was part of it or was thought part of it, part, part of the Torah, um, when we went to go talk to them, or when we went inside, we found her. Uh, Daella went over and talked to um, this orc lady, and they was like, yo, you gotta drink with me first. Then I'll tell you stuff. Amazing. And Day was like, and I was just like sitting at the table, thumbs up. <laughs> uh, then after that, I uh, got some information out of her, and she, said, she, she went into a room alone with her. Uh, by alone, I mean there was an unservant and a. What else was there? There was one of the. I think. Which are four? Sent. Um, Whipperforth, yeah. Um, that's what I thought. Uh, and so they were listening and on that conversation, so they heard it. While me and Gail sat outside just chatting during that time. I don't remember what happened. The um, so Athena, you can uh, Dale, you can explain that one. What? conversation conversation you had in there um i was blubbering and trying to be like sneaky and i was like i need help from the zentarum because i don't like my faction and then she was like well i'm not part of the zentarum i'm part of the i have it written down but my son took my book um neighborhood something black thing what was it called, Hellbard? It was called the Black uh, Brotherhood. Yeah, Black Brotherhood, if my memory serves me correctly. Hold on, I have it written down. Um, and then, uh, but she whispered it so that like the servant couldn't hear. So then, the Black Network Missionary, Mercenary. Black network mercenary. That's what she was. And so, yeah, she whispered it so that, but then the Whipperforth and the servant couldn't hear. So, just to like confirm what she said, I said it louder, but then she got mad and choked me until somebody came. Somebody came and opened the room and pulled me out. I don't remember. I think it was Gail. I'm not sure. Gail no, got between you two and pushed each other apart. No, 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 no yeah, Gail couldn't hear and saw me collapse. Yeah. The end. Yeah, and that's where that's where we ended. You guys, you and uh, Yala went back to the table and continued drinking. Actually. Okay. She was like fine, and she was a little bit upset because of uh, 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 that you mentioned her. Operatives, uh, right. the, the organization too loudly. That's why she uh, grabbed you. But right. you're fine now. You're you're just you. You're back being friends, and now you continue on drinking. I am not friends with her, but I will keep drinking. <laughs> <laughs> no. I will pretend to be friends with her, but I don't think that my character likes her very much. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's that's such a not that's not nice to say. <laughs> She grabbed me by the throat. That's not fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, small things like attempted murder. It's no problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Gail. <laughs> yeah, well, it kind of might include in your service. Then.
kill. Oh you what you what is your ping right now? Mine? Yes. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> it's going up and down really bad. Can't restart my wife now though, so. Okay, let's continue on to the map where we left off in the Yawning Portal. Okay. There you are. Also, I'm going to hide her so you don't see her. Well, the name was the Black Network. The Black user. Network mercenaries. Yes. mercenaries. Yes. And... So, um... Well, you two went back to the table. You had two more drinks. Okay. And she agrees that if you manage to uh, stay on your feet after you drank all the ales. She, uh, Yagra, agreed to answer any of your questions. All right. Uh, I believe. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna scroll up a little bit. One, two, three. Okay, you have rolled three, so you have two more. What am I supposed to do again? I forgot. Uh, roll survival. Guidance. Do I do... So when you do guidance on me, do I... Gosh dang it, sorry. Everybody's calling me for my birthday. Um, I have do, a birthday. Thanks. Do I do uh, advantage because he's casting no, guidance? No, you add a d4. Uh, but you do that. Uh, you can either roll this before or after. You're touching. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I click survival and then I add something. Well, you succeeded yet again. Oh, okay. Uh, this your, elf can your check, her like your her check, guide. Your check was uh, 16 for your fourth roll. All right. And Yagra is so impressed. Yagra, when you kind of look at Yagra, you notice that her eyes glimmer a little bit and that she might look a little bit drunk. <laughs> But you like <laughs> you're a, you know, well, this is nothing. Give me more. She and I are friends now. <laughs> yeah, well, Yagra might just become your best friend in this city. <laughs> that sounds fabulous. Okay, so I have one more. You said yes, and you have to roll a eighteen or higher. Okay, and I add something to it, so I. Well, can't well, if on. you fail. Okay. Well, you well, don't. Okay. You well, you didn't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! Yes. Ah. Who said elves can't hold their liquor? You guys are crazy. <laughs> well, Yagra just. Eek. 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 Like, she has m maybe taken a couple of too many ales yeah. this evening. She she actually uh, had taken uh, quite a few before uh, you even joined her at the table. Right, right. Um, so, 
I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. And also because Natalie is not here, I don't want to do anything with the mission without her. So I'm going to tell Yagra. Yag Yagra. So my only question for you is, are you going to be here two days from now? Because you were like officially one of my closest friends and I would love to come drink with you again later on. Yaga just puts her hand out and uh, says, Sure, I'll be here. I am no All one right, place um... to go. Aww. She should move in with us, guys. <laughs> this no. is my home. <laughs> if you're into choking, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what I'm into. <laughs> Okay, um, all right, Roll yeah, an insight so, on that. <laughs> an insight on what? I mean, Derlin. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. This if you want, that's an option. That, 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 I just did that for... <laughs> well, no, he would know if I'm into choking, because wouldn't he feel it? Uh, yeah. Oh uh, my yeah, god. Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I not feel the same. It's my sick. Oh yeah. <laughs> definitely. You are definitely, you definitely know what uh, your sister is into. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So like, I'm just that like. Disgusting. After chugging all these drinks, I'm just like, my only question left for you is like, will you be my friend and will I see you here at another time? And. Then I'm gonna grab my group and go home, and we'll do somebody else's mission until next week when Natalie's here. Yes, but a promise is a promise. Uh, now I will answer all your questions. You want to all right. here well, or someplace else? We can do it here next week. Well, if your friends want to join, they can. All right, sounds great. Why don't we uh, take the corn, uh, corner table right? Wait, right wait up, now? right, right up there. But I don't want to do it right now. <laughs> oh, when do you have the time? Well, let's do it sometime next week, um, because. My friend Natalie really has the questions, and she's disappeared. So, because you and I are friends now, maybe we can see each other next week. Absolutely. Like I said, I will be here. Sounds great. <laughs> and um, I'm going to grab another ale and walk over here. To impress her. <laughs> okay. Well, Jagra, uh, when you leave, uh, get up and go towards uh, your brother, Jagra just her head's just spinning and uh, knocks her forehead into the table and snores. <laughs> okay. She, she, she's just <laughs> just so drunk that she falls uh, fell asleep on the table. Okay. All right, guys. Do you want to go back home? What do you guys want to do? Stay and drink for a while? Because <laughs> I'm feeling confident. <laughs> well, we can go to the order. Uh, of the that's, that's, that's true. All right. My yeah. group hasn't approached me yet. So. Have they approached you yet, Gail? Yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that, because um, I definitely want to, like, I would have totally asked questions, but I want to halt until Natalie is here, because she's part of this, too. So, um, I figured we could go do your guys' things this week. While she's not here, that way she's not missing anything. Oh my gosh. Let me go to push the talk, sorry. Okay, so... Let's see. Gail, you had a mission. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> For order of the gauntlets. Yeah. 
Yes, you have a mission. Uh, in the field ward. Uh, do you remember what the mission is, or uh, do you want to recap? Gail? Hello. Gail, Darlene, Ayala. Guys? You guys? Oh. It's Discord. It's not you. Okay. Discord's being a bitch. Yeah, you keep leaving and coming, but it's Discord. Okay, I think I can hear Darlin. Carter, talk. Nope. It's me. Yeah. Yeah, now I, I can hear you. But I don't hear Gail for some reason. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, now I hear you. So, uh, your mission, do you want to take... Uh, <coughs> do you want to recap on your mission? I haven't done the mission yet. I was supposed to go to the Halls of Justice. Oh, yeah, uh, you haven't received a mission yet? I thought you did. No. No, I was just told to... Ah, yeah. Of course. I will move you to... So you guys want to go home? Back home first? Yeah, we could... Uh you guys gonna go home first to freshen up how's the bar coming like are we almost up and running you guys are uh, up and run uh, almost up and running there there are a few modifications to still needed to be done before you can actually do the grand opening, but it's not far away now. I'm gonna this room straightening up and deck. Oh yeah, you're preparing that room. Okay. But you, um, uh, let's see, Athena or Diala, uh, rule me uh, 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 what should I want you to roll? Roll me a nature or roll me either intel a straight intelligence or charisma check. Either an intelligence or charisma based. Uh, or um, or charisma. Uh, not oh. a save, just a charisma or intelligence. Right. Well, you're not proficient. We that should be. <clears throat> okay, well, uh, you feel that uh, the alcohol might have affected you a little bit, but. You. Probably think that you're gonna have like a, 
small headache in the morning. You named it the love. What? Oh, that's great. <laughs> All right. Uh, Gail, you are uh, preparing to move out to uh, to the Order of Gauntlet's headquarters. Uh, well, I'm gonna ask everyone see if they want to go. Oh, um. Yeah, but most of the gangs are uh, in the tavern hall. You heard like uh, you heard a door or two uh, in Athena's room or close, so she might be there as well. So I just ask everybody if they want to go. I guess Darlin. I ask Darlin. I. Why not? <laughs> sure. Yeah, go do those things. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I guess, I mean, I guess she'll come just to protect Darlene. She doesn't really want to. But. Alrighty. I guess it's the three of us. Well, you don't know, Perswain might join you as well. Let's say that he's busy standing and staying at home for now, maintaining the place. So you head out uh, in this, into the city. And you got the direction uh, to the Halls of Justice. Yeah. So you say you can. It takes you a, a little while to get there, but you guys are there. I'm gonna move your copy your characters. So which one are uh, going with you? I think it's thrown in. <clears throat> the people in the Discord are coming. Paste you there. Can you see the map? Can you see yourself on the map? Yes. Okay, so 
Uh, da, da, da. So you be, you are invited to also justice by Savra Bellabranta. Yeah. <coughs> I was to complete my room. That's all I was to Yeah. Um Okay, so you, you guys get in here, you meet a knight, uh, you meet the same knight. Uh, you guys get in here and you meet the knight, Savra, who greets you. Uh, the rest of you can all, also join her. She says, and before. Before I can give you a tour of our order, or uh, you have to do a couple of missions for us, if you are willing to join the Order of the Gauntlet. Oh yeah. Are you willing to join us in our fight against evil? You what? I know, but <laughs> we're part of the group. We'll have to participate. Did you also want to, uh, to join the Order of the Gauntlets? No. <laughs> no. Nope. You don't want to fight evil. <laughs> Mikael, oh, you're uh, you're willing to join, right? What are the missions? Yeah. Uh, so she tells you that uh, we hear that the Sents are paying gangs in the field war to attack suspected Senator Guild members. Fights are breaking out in the war daily. I want you to stop a fight before it happens. We need to send a message to the, these thugs that further altercations won't be tolerated. Will you do this for us? Yeah. Which one for the shit? I gave you the wrong. It was the wrong floor. This is the right floor. So, are you willing to patrol the field ward every day to stop until you see a fight breaking up between the gangs? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, good. 
and she gives you a pen. Pen? Uh, yeah, she gives you a pen, a uh, pen that you can put uh, somewhere on your body to m that's marking you that you're a member of Order of the Gauntlet. Okay. All right. Okay, well, when you're done, come back to us and you will if when you're finished with this, you will you will then be a f official member of our order. Right. This will be your test to see if you're worthy of being a member. Okay. Guess I leave. You leave and and I will move you to. So you're now back outside. Where do you guys want to go now? Do you guys want to follow Gale up to Field Ward? Or do you feel like you want to wait uh, a little bit? So, um, you were cutting out for me, but what is he going to do with the Field Ward? Uh, he's gonna uh, go and see if he can stop an alt uh, altercation uh, between the. Uh, oh, we should probably be, be there for. Yeah. At least I'll go um, to help because I don't want yeah. him. To yeah, fight. he he has a mission to stop uh, a fight between Santar, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Sense, and uh, Santar Gil. Oh, oh the Centaurum? Well, yeah, the Centaurum and uh, uh, the, uh, the Order of Gauntlet has heard that uh, Centaur paying gangs in the field world attack suspected Centaur guild members, so uh, his mission is to stop these fights from happening. Okay. Um, Dayella, you could actually find out information from the Centaurum, from the, from the gangs about the Centaurum. While we're there. Yeah, I guess. Cause my faction wanted to know, so I'll join. When I hear the word Centaurum, I'll perk up and get more prepared. You get, like, your pen and uh, paper scrolls ready to yeah. do your journalism investigation going. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you find, like, uh, when you hear, uh, get this ready, when you about to go up to the field ward, you kind of get the expression, oh, journalism, this could be like something very, you can get very excited and you find like, oh, this is like a good way to get good information and working like a half, or almost like a spy or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. You, you get the sensation that uh, this could be beneficial for all your group members if you can work as a detective journalist thing. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about me. <laughs> so far. Yep. Well, we haven't joined the place. <laughs> Yeah, approach me yet. <laughs> yeah, so where do you want to go? Do you want to go straight up to the field ward? Uh, I think we should send a word to the people, the the bar. Pers so that uh, the they bar. Know where to go. Yeah, personally. Okay. 
Yeah, um, definitely we should probably do that. Uh, I don't know how though. <laughs> Wait, what are we trying to do? Sorry. We're trying to send a, a, a message to the bar to say like, hey, this is where we're going. Meet us here if, like, if you want, if you want. <coughs> For so person Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's, um, is there any, like, messengers on the street that we can see? Can't you turn into, like, a bird? No. Oh. Uh, no, not yet. He has a couple of levels before he can, can turn into an animal. Like, can probably turn into a dire wolf, but it'd be really weird seeing a dire wolf sprint through the street. <laughs> well, I could, uh, you could, like, transform into a dog or something. Turn into a dire wolf like and a... I'll ride you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could transform into a dog or a cat. That could. Oh, actually, I might be able to turn into a horse. Can you? Uh, it's not like a little too high. No, because it's a one. I'm pretty sure it's a one rating. Uh... Uh, I can turn into difficulty one creatures. I uh, will check. It's a turning of one fourth. I can definitely turn into that. Okay, so you can transform into a horse. All right, so I'll ride him back to the bar and leave a note for first of aim. Okay. The word alone. Or yeah, first of aim is at the bar, I guess. Well, I mean, we'll meet you I mean back there. You can, yeah, we'll, we'll be much faster. Well, since you be both, you, all of you can like go to Troll Skull, uh, back to Troll Skull Abyss, because uh, Field Ward are north of you, so you all have to Hop pass. on, Gale. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you just see my eyes go wide. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? <laughs> what? I mount the horse. Wait, <laughs> let's go. Giddy up, I'm brother. I'm give you access to a horse sheet later on, <laughs> so you can control a horse. I have one up. Just like, yeah. Okay, yeah, well. Oh, okay. You gotta get a bunch of. Uh, you gotta get a bunch of stats ready. Uh, the druid. Yeah, but uh, he's only level two yet, still so. Well, there's a bunch of things I can turn into at level 2 because I'm Circle of the Moon, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can turn into, like, challenge rating 1 creatures. You do have a bunch of uh, yeah. challenge rating 1. You have, like, 4. You have a Black Bear, Dire Wolf, Winter Wolf, Wolf. Fish, Crab, Snake. Snake is a swimming. No swimming. Not all no, snakes are swimming. Yeah, no swimming creatures. But some snakes are not. Actually, I can turn into a war horse. Fuck yeah. Cool. <laughs> you guys can ride gallantly through uh, water deep on this majestic war horse. Fuck yeah. What color is the horse that you... Uh, my mane is red. Like, my red thing. And my, uh... Fur is mostly, like... Um, tan. It's like a tan color. And then with, like, grieved in and out. Like, kind of like vines growing up through my thing. <laughs> so if That's you guys true. move the token... Like, remember... Well, Remember, guys, to, like, look you, you to guys control the token on the big map. R remember that. Oh, yeah. So you guys head back to Trollskull Alley to get Press Wayne. Or at least oh. let him know. We're... Yeah, to leave a note. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you tell him that you're going up to field war, but he's not really, really interested in that. He feels like he wants to be here at the uh, tavern and oversee the uh, repairs. 
and making sure that the specter doesn't do anything that frightens the workers. All right, well, well, first of all, about 10 minutes, if you change your mind, head up. He will definitely think about it. I think we walk. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's what. Oh, okay, yeah. that's what you said about ten minutes. Okay. <laughs> sneaky. That was sneaky. So I'm just supposed to just patrol the field ward, that's it? Until something happens? Yeah, you're gonna patrol the field ward, and if there is a fight breaking out, yeah, they want you to make sure they don't uh, start a uh, fight. Yeah, she hasn't give you any orders to actually kill any of the gang members, but uh, maybe threaten them. Uh, to make sure that they never get back here to st uh, and start a new fight ever again. Just rough them up a bit. Yeah, I don't think I can kill it. Yeah. The rule. Yeah, the rules say if you get caught in killing a person, even if it is a. If you get low -life. caught. <laughs> if you get caught, yes, that's true. Ah, oh, look, here's Persevine. It's not on Discord yet, but soon. Well, what do you guys do when you, uh, uh, while he decides? I gotta go get my paper ready. Um, uh upstairs with um, a proper pen and maybe a book or two just trying to look very professional so I can sell the like I'm working for a newspaper bit uh, add to your gear uh, ink and scroll empty scrolls ink pen okay. and empty scrolls so uh, you can have stuff to write on okay like a notebook so you have like a proper equipment to write down information Because now it feels like you truly belong to the harbors. <laughs> what do the rest of you do while you wait for Persevane's uh, decision? Um. I'm gonna fix you a token, by the way. I am. Um, I'm just sitting outside eating grass. You're still a horse? Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm just grabbing my stuff. Waiting to see what Persevane. Oh, we're going to go to the field where to patrol. See if you're interested in going. Thank you. 
What's happening? Are you talking, Persuade? Because I can't hear you. No, oh, this is a new mission. I just got this. Please help me in um, Discord. Persuade, we can't hear you talking. He's, he knows he can't talk yet. He's in vo He's listening but can't talk. Yeah. Okay. There may be I mean, fighting. Yeah. I mean, the objective is to stop a fight, so the chances of there being fighting could be pretty high. <laughs> oh, yeah, there. Okay, I missed the tabletop. <laughs> tabletop. Or just, oh. indeed. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit off today for some reason. It's one of those days. Yeah. All right, well, yeah. first of all, it. Shall sell the fort for justice. Okay, yeah, so all of you are heading out. I asked Natalie, but she has violent, violent diarrhea. <laughs> You're fabulous. Uh, no, like, yeah, Natalie feels like uh, she just wants to sit this one out. It doesn't interest her in a bit. It's the diarrhea, I understand. Yeah, gang. It's like, who wants to even drop the gangs? Yeah, gangs are no fun. Well, bye, Natalie. Alright. So, uh, after uh, a little bit of riding up uh, north to the field ward, you hear a little noise coming from uh, an alley. You kind of feel, uh, you kind of see. Uh, delete. Can I support You can see like there's a group of thugs uh, uh, that are about to start a ruckus. I mean, normally only two people to one mount. Yeah, it's normally just two. Oh, wait, how does everyone get here then? <laughs> well, one of you have to, like, walk. Run. <laughs> well, you don't Whoa. have to, like, sprint, like, full speed. You can just trot. Trot, yeah. Thank you. A whipper part is huge, so you just carry everybody. We before this tiny at uh, his token is big, so I'm gonna fix that. Oh, I meant you. I thought you meant his token. I was like, what the what? <laughs> well, we before we before this is tiny. Is a, a tiny creature as well. This token, yeah, that's token why is also, I call uh, him Kitty. Yeah. He's so small he can actually sit on his shoulder. But uh, the thugs are like uh, starting to uh, head down head down the street to they are like preparing to start a fight with someone but you, you don't know who but if you want to uh, stop the fight, uh, stop them, uh, these fucks for starting anything, I want you to go up to them and uh, roll uh, three intimidation checks for me. Sure, I can't grab my token. 
Wait, I want... Gail, you should ride me there. So you seem more intimidating. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, this weird fucking horse with vines and red hair. Totally intimidating. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's kind of weird. That'd be kind of a... <laughs> Off like just say I'm a magical horse. Now you can move. Okay. I go there riding my mount. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Gail, roll me three intimidation checks for me. Does he get advantage because he's on the horse? On the way over, I cast guidance on myself. Okay. You can actually start from there. Okay, well, that's one. Nice. I crit. Still have to make two more. The second one. 20. The third. I'm gonna yeah, the think. fucks are like... Sick. Uh... So... When you approach them, the fucks are ready to like... Attack you, but uh, or charge you, but they decide that yeah, you look so freaking scary and intimidating that they decide to back down. Huh? They just tell uh, nice. uh, that we don't, uh, we didn't want to, but. Uh, there was too good of money in, uh, for us to pass out on this opportunity. I'm writing all this down, by the way. Is this or, not are you near enough to hear dead it? Bodies? I'm writing down everything yeah, I same. can hear. Yeah, yeah, it's I'm the same. I'm using the same app, just so I don't have to download and another, make another one. Immersion lost. Uh, so, I guess I tell them. Uh, this street is protected by the order of the Gadadi. Yes. And where are the other thugs you were heading to meet? Uh, they are... These were heading towards a place to start a fight, you know. Um, uh, they were not. Uh, they were not other thugs. These thugs were hired to attack. Uh, to start a fight. I shall uh, glow menacingly. I'd like to, um, with my like pen and paper in hand, like, okay, so uh, what were your names again? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Well, our names are not that important, but. Uh, our names I'm gonna elbow anything. Gale. <laughs> uh, but uh, Gale, I need their name. <laughs> this one, it says his name is Artemis. Hey, a human. Inside check. <laughs> Inside check. Okay, do it if you want. <laughs> Yeah, he's telling the truth. His name is Artemis. And and Good and the know. other three of you? Uh, this one name is. Uh, uh, God damn it! <laughs> he was not prepared. No. <laughs> <laughs> I need this to get standing with my faction, okay? Uh, <laughs> <coughs> I need all the names. <laughs> well, that's should ask if they were hired by the Zantarum too, because don't know uh, Ray, wow. Ryan, Ryan. This guy's name. Uh, this guy's name is uh, Rudolf, and he's Rudolph. a human as well. Yes. Does he have a red nose? This one's name is Karash. This one is this one's is a half orc. You are. 
Karash. <laughs> yes, All right, his and name last is one was Karash. And this one's name is Veldren. He's an elf. What type? Take a guess. <laughs> um, well, he's working for the Zentarum, so I'm going to say a dark elf. Wrong! You lose your inspiration. Oh, boy. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> so uh, no, okay, no, um, he he is a wood elf. Okay. Thank you, boys. Thank you so much. This will be extremely helpful. And just to clarify, you were with the Zentarum because you know, then yeah, that yes. No, we're not. You're we're not with the Zentarum. God damn. You're Zentarum. We're, we're, not, we're, we're not with the Zentarum. The Zentarum hi uh, hired us. Right, right. Hired you. Right, right. We're, we're doing? just uh, <laughs> people that want to earn quick bucks for doing stuff. Hired. Even if it That's means cool. harming other people. So, how long has it been since I turned into a horse? <laughs> Probably uh, an hour. That's it. Okay. Another hour of this. <laughs> nice. Um, oh, you can maintain two hours? Pretty sure. I think it's I one think it's hour. Like half, half my level? Oh, oh yeah, it's half an level. hour. Oh, I randomly abruptly just turned into a human. <laughs> oh, Gale's still on me. Yeah, yeah, like, yep. Gale, roll a dex save. Uh, I'm gonna crush you. My dex is negative. Love While that. this is happening, I would like to like start giving these uh, ruffians a stern talking to. Morality, and they should use their their strength to defend the poor and the helpless, and that sort of thing. Hmm. Yeah, you could do that. Absolutely. I will do that then. I would like to roll a persuasion check. I'm gonna do that. With, I will give you advantage for this. And guidance. Tap you on the shoulder. Bink. I feel like every time guidance casts, it's just huge. You hear bink in the background. Uh, add a d4. Uh, add a d4. Hang on a sec. Ugh. 11. They don't feel <laughs> that so compelled that uh, uh, they will do it just because uh, you were nice not to uh, kill them or turn them into the authorities or something. If you do you want to turn them into the authorities because they feel like they have learned a lesson not to start fights. I don't know, do Do I feel like they've learned their lesson? <laughs> uh, I'm asking you, do you feel that? Do you feel that you want to turn them in, or leave them as they be, and let uh, them return to their normal lives? How, yeah. how convincing they are in their contrition. Uh, you feel like... Inside check. I'm gonna speak up and say, who hired you? Give me a name from my friend here, and I'm to die alone. Yes, yes. Name for the record. That'd be great. <laughs> Grab my pen. jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, they uh, can't really tell you who uh, who hired them because they don't know. They Inside. never saw they they never saw <laughs> the person's face or they don't know the person's name who hired them. Do I feel like I believe them? I believe. Oof, God damn, do I believe? <laughs> I'm gonna... Yeah, you definitely believe them. So no more rolls, Gale. Oh Gale. crap! Never mind. Sorry. So Gale says to I, ah, yeah, they told him the truth, they. And that they are like, it would say that even if you roll high, I would say that they are telling the truth either way. You kind of okay. get the you got um... you, you get the face in, uh, expressions that they are say telling the truth. Okay. 
So in your own words, um, I point to this one. I can't. Mark. Mark is not on me. Whatever. Um, what were you hired to do exactly? Uh, we were hired to start uh, fights uh, uh, with the uh, Sarantar Guild members. That's the only the thing what? we. That's the only thing we were paid to do. What's the guild called? Sarantar Guild. With the suspect, what we think is the Sarantar Guild. You kind of, if you remembered correctly, you kind of crashed one of their hideouts in the sewers. That right. Was, that was Santar's hideout. At least one of them. And and so you can't give me one name. Like there are no names that you know at all, even in passing. Even no. somebody who didn't hire you. No, okay. sorry. Yeah, we have just been paid. Uh, here, I, that's a good... Why, why don't you take the uh, money we were paid for do this job now, today? And how much were you paid to do this? Nine gold pieces. Each or total? Uh, nine gold pieces to, for this one. We, we have more at our home, but it's uh, quite far away from this street. Do they look tough? Maybe. You guys are. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> you want to work at a bar? <laughs> we need hirelings. Let, no. let, me, let, let me get this straight. You want to hire these uh, fags or some of these fags to work for you? Yep. I'm sure Persevain wouldn't mind. So I, I mean, you do have a ghost that works as a, that's going to be working for you as a bartender for free as long as you are allowed to stay at your place. But well, we also need people to go out, serve food. Can't have the ghosts do everything. You want them to be True. waiters and waitresses. Yeah. <laughs> if someone causes a ruckus, you have a thug there to take care of it. Oh, so you want them to be Hate like them. uh uh bouncers as well? Yep. I like this idea. I I would like to try and, and guilt them into this. Now, would that be an intimidation roll or a persuasion roll? That would be a persuasion, and I will give you advantage with this. Hashtag. And Gail, uh, you will get inspiration for this. Hey. <laughs> God. This is for you, Persevan. A bit of that. I am like full fledged rolling my eyes, and I'm going to walk back here. And, and make you roll a 16, so them. yeah. Uh, they kind of feel oh, that. Oh, did crush me? Oh, yeah. Plus guidance, no? Yeah. Yeah, you have a 16, so you kind of... They find this very intriguing, but they want... They Collection. also want... I have they, a 20. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, but uh, they... Do we get, like, some place to stay also? Do, can you provide us the place to stay for us? Because we live, we live, we live, we live, nope. we, we actually live in, all the way down in the southern parts of the dock ward, so it's going to be a long... We have a basement. You guys can stay in the basement. That's true. Oh my god. We're going to renovate the basement. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can do. We can I'm rolling my eyes to it, this, by the way. As you're on the ground, as I'm standing on top of your back. I'm just a no. Oh yeah, my, but, okay. My, like... uh, I forgot. Darling, make a deck save too. What? Darling, I want you to make a deck save. Oh. Oof. Okay, so when you transform back to a human, Gale just uh, 
glides off your back uh, with a little bit of panic. It just was sitting on your back, uh, on your horse form, and you just tra you just transform back. So you get pushed forward uh, and uh, almost like stumbles into the thugs, like. <laughs> <clears throat> surprising them and you uh, also they got a little bit surprised that you just transformed back into a whore uh, into a human i'm just gonna sit in the ground like when i'm like laying on the ground and i like like stumble for a minute stop stare at them and then quickly like get like have my head resting on my elbow or on my like hand with my elbow on the ground looking up hi how's it going just like i'm waiting for the reaction <laughs> Uh, so they, uh, so these thugs are uh, whispering, like uh, talking. Uh, you can, you actually can't like, hear what they're saying, but they, they are like. Can I make a perception check? My perception's really high. Uh, then they just stops and whispers and turns uh, uh, towards you and asks you, um, "How much uh, would you pay us to work for you?" I'm sure a good else. deed is its own reward. Oh. I'm not gonna work for free. I rolled a um, 20 on perception. Persuasion. I'm confident this oh, will persuasion, work. Persuasion, but yeah, yes, that was persuasion. just convincing them to work, come and work for you and spare their lives and not turning them in. But they feel like if they want to work for you, they feel that they need to get paid so they can... Hmm. Have this a, pers a private, uh, personal life. Turn their lives around. They will be given a place to sleep, and How about stay and this? live and work, uh, and uh, yeah, they feel like no, you they make, have to like maybe I'm, turn you down because they feel like they need to not. They feel like if they're gonna work and work and work and just sleep, sleep and work, sleep and work, and not getting paid and and uh, tips. Okay, you'll get paid, you'll get paid, two silver a day, and then whatever oh. tips. That is way too much! You'll get I, two month. silver a week. Uh, one gold a month. <laughs> sure. One gold a month, okay. Plus tip. Plus, Plus tips. Whatever this customers give you, you can have it. You directly. Except for the paying for anything extra. Okay, yeah. so what they uh, do, they take out their weapons uh, and uh, giving them uh, to. God, I forgot the name. Uh, to this this thug, and he just turns to all, uh, gives Gale all the weapons, and says, "Thank you, Art." Thank you, Artemis. We, we, Artemis, we have a deal. One we will do. Uh, we will come work for you for one All gold right. amount. I give them. I, I keep five gold and I give them four back. Since they gave me the nine gold, right? Yes. Not bad. Okay. This is going well. If I was Rylan, if I was Rylan, I would have fireballed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. You you would either fireball them or done something terrible like cast suggestion or something on them. Not right, yeah. All right. Well, I guess everything is solved, guys. Well, uh, they uh, you guys turn around and they like follow you back to your tavern, Trollskull Manor. They like want to. Uh, they ask uh, you to show them the way to their new working place and new home. All right, sounds fair. By the way, are you gonna warn them about uh, the ghost? Yeah, nope. I would probably warn nope. them. Nope. I would warn them on the way. They kind. They kind of like uh, get to feel. <laughs> ghost inspector? Uh, is it gonna haunt us? Well, yes, if you do anything wrong. <laughs> I 
and I show them to the base. I, I tell them that they need to clean it up and set it up so they can kill it. And, um, uh, so Persevane, do you, have you been contacted by who you want to join? Not so far. All right. And Carter, you haven't either. Yep. Carter? Okay. So Gail, did you want to go back to your thing and tell them it's done? Yeah. I just want to situate these guys first. All right. Um, I'm not going to come back with you. I'm going to stay here at the bar um, while you guys are go back and talk to them. Uh, me and um, Gail can go. I'll, ri I'll ride him there. He can ride me there. Do you want to go first of it? Uh, no, I'll, I'll get these guys set up in the basement. We'll get some, um, some bunk beds stuffed in there okay. so that they can have uh, somewhere to sleep. I give you the five gold. At yeah, the least. basement is kind of uh, quite warm and uh, comfy, actually. Yeah, it's cozy. It's cozy down there. Um, and they get, get uh, access to and they get access to all the stuff. Mm -hmm. no, we, might, we might need to put like a, some sort of locking door between them and the booze. Yeah, yeah. they actually, actually give, they actually give you a promise that they won't to touch uh, any of the alcohol. <laughs> Unless yeah, you give, unless you give them. Well, I just tell them that if they do, the ghosts will kill them. And the ghosts <laughs> at least have Yeah, the the go the spectre could probably actually kill them. Like, yeah, they. First when do I believe them? Yes, they believe you. Uh, they believe you that uh, they, you will send uh, Lif uh, down to the basement and haunt them. I don't even need to do that because Whipperforth will know if they if they touch the booze because he's got telepathy. Oh uh, yeah, Whipperforth is stronger than us, anyways. I'm gonna um, give Persevane um, forty silver to go get anything they need for the basement. No, I, I gave them the five gold, so anything they five need gold. for that, they oh, can okay. get from them. From but the, yeah, from but the we have um, do we have like a party bank that I've been keeping track of. Do we still have um, contractors a one. around the house? Yes, so that we could do. like throw together some bunk beds? Uh, the contractors, they go, always go home to their families after work days. Yeah, I just meant, are they like currently working in the house? Because if they are, then I will add that to their list of stuff to do. Uh, no, they are all gone home for the day. Alright, well then we'll need to sort that out with them tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, also, the uh, Veldrin, Rudolf, Artemis, and Carl says that they can uh, also help out a little bit uh, with the repairs. Yes, we will also... Can, does any Do any of them cook? Uh, Kar Karash with, uh, mm. Ka Karash and... Did you say Karash can cook? Uh... Oh yeah, we need a chef, don't we? Karash and Veldrin, and, uh... Karash can, it says he's... Still, he was in training when he left, but he can probably manage. Cool. We just got ourselves a cook. A cook in three servers. Uh, he says that he would like yeah. to have an assistant to aid him. Someone who actually can help him prepare. It's fine by now, but when they I cook in two servers. Uh, yeah, yeah, like uh, uh, you. Uh, I... Good enough. 
Uh, yeah. Veldrin is more like uh, uh, a uh, big uh, elf that has a, a bit of a temper. He he can actually be. He says that he can be uh, intimidating if things need be. If you guys want uh, someone that can break up fights. Yeah, so we've got Veldrin as a bouncer, Karash as a cook. Uh, Do we can want Artemis or Rudolph help? Help with yeah. cooking? Part time. I mean, we only need one serving server. And, serving so... and preparing. Yeah. Do you want the uh, lift to have more help at the bar? Yeah, that is true. We can have one of them help. One help with cooking. Or so, uh, making drinks, sort of... maybe? Liv can actually, well, you still have time to uh, let Liv train. Train Rudolph. That's true. Liv the Spectre. Well, he can talk, but uh, uh, he can make gestures. Like show him because uh, Liv can actually hold stuff. He can. Uh, he has proven that he can do almost anything besides talking. I give him a piece of paper and some pen and ink. Oh, he... So who are we going to have help uh, lift? Is it going to be Artemis or Rudolph? That's up to you guys. Um, Sorry again? Is it Crash? Or... Crash is the half four cook. Veldrin is our wood elf. Okay. Bouncer. Well, why Artemis doesn't the was... wood elf get trained? To work I guess at the he bar. More, uh, more of the imposing figure uh, is what was described. Well, yeah, but he can do that, that, and the bar can watch everything, and also be the bouncer at the same. Time. The purpose of us getting them is so that all of them could have. If we just have a bouncer, he just gets to stand there most days and do nothing. That is true. Well, he'll right, be the so bar back, so the main bartender is the spec bar back, and then we can have the two humans be the, um, on the floor, serving. If we're wicked busy, we're gonna need more than one. Speaking from my actual restaurant experience, like, that's how it works. Alright, so we got two servers, a cook, and a bar back. And you all pay them one gold each per month. Yep, one gold a month, which is a really good wage in D&D, I guess, according to Google. That is a very good salary, yes. <laughs> that will help them have a personal life. Also, as a suggestion, uh, you do have an attic, <laughs> attic storage. I think that's where Persevan sleeps. No, Persevan sleeps over here. Uh, but you also have uh, an attic storage over here next... Uh, the door next to him. You, you can also make... If you, like, move around some boxes, you can make, like, maybe two people sleep there and two people sleep in the attic. So it doesn't get crowded. Oh. That's, that's a, just a suggestion from that's your friend the GM. From, from your friend the GM. I like. So. I like keeping them all in the basement. Yeah, out of belong. sight, out of mind. <laughs> and if they get troublesome, we can just lock them down there. Oh uh, well, yeah, you could that. You could do that too. Absolutely. So while we while you're talking, I'm gonna ask the carpenter, the contractor, to make another exit the basement stuck in it. 
fire happened. So while you are uh, talking and uh, making stuff, uh, figuring out what to do with uh, your four new workers, uh, a member of uh, the Amro Enclave, Lord Lions, Force Grey are jo uh, coming in. There is a uh, well, there is like a, a female, a female uh, half elf coming in from uh, Delmar Enclave, and asks if any of you were interested in joining the Emerald Enclave. Yeah, I come meet us at. Uh, my head up. Come meet us at uh, Polcon Mare in the Southern Ward. Okay. Um. Gotta go. <laughs> Where was it again? Sorry. Oh, God. Uh, Polcon Mare in the Southern Ward. I will write it down. And oh, another cool. one from uh, Force Grey. And a man named Vira, uh, a female named Vira Safar, who is also a friend of Raynor Neverember, who you rescued, uh, comes in. Hey, she is also known as the Blackstaff. Oh. And she says, come to Blackstaff Tower in the castle ward at once. I am Vaira Safar, the Blackstaff. Come to Blackstaff Tower in the castle ward at once. Bring your friends. We want you to join our very organized faction. And who, who was this guy's name that yeah, just... Who's she saying this to? Ah, uh, she says to, to all of you. Um, let me pull up her name. And the female from the em uh, Emerald Enclave, uh, Emora. Well, that... And who was Falconmere? Falconmere is a place in the Southern Ward. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I missed something. My kid was being loud. <laughs> I'm going to very exasperately roll my eyes and stomp up to my room because I am not okay with Emerald Enclave mm. and I'm and, pissed that Darlin's running them. And while well, for... Uh, and while Vyra from the Safari enjoyed, uh, wants you to come visit the Black South Tower in the Castle Ward at once, uh, another one comes in. Uh, his name is. Uh, I actually have. This is Vyra Safar from uh, Force Grey. And another one named Jalister Silvermane from Lord Alliance comes in.
From uh, what was the no Jolster guy? Yeah, from Lord's Alliance. Uh, he says that he is like uh, he he's a f agent uh, uh, in the field that likes to reports to uh, an open lord uh, named Laurel Silvan. He spends his much much time in the open portal and uh, the other times that adventurers are known to frequent. He says that he's offer, uh, he offers memberships in the Lord's Alliance to those who qualify. And this is... Uh, uh, Lord's Alliance are for... Uh, people that want to place the security of the city and the realm ahead of their own interest. And if, uh, if you want to join, you have to be uh, have a resident here in Waterdeep. They don't invite stragglers and homeless people and people just passing through. I think Jalister is my friend of uh, the Waterdeep dude. It yeah, should be if you, you should have it in in your journal, I think. Yeah, he's the person I chose as my friend. Yeah. So he can, you cannot recognize him, and it's a surprise to see him here. And just give him a little wave. Uh, this is a picture of uh, Laura Silverhand, the Open Lord. Layral. And and what is she with? She is the open lord. Yalester Silvermane is a field agent who reports to Laral, Laral Silverhand. Yalester is the one that wants to offer you membership in the Lord's Alliance. So, um, just it, it, just keeping in mind that Dayella is writing all of this down, like names and stuff. Yeah, the the representative sees that you're typing a lot. <laughs> you're write, writing down stuff in the scroll. They don't mind. Okay, cool. They're not that important persons. I'm going to lean over to Persevain, who I'm assuming is near me. Um, or on the end of the bar. Lean towards him and be like, hey, do, you, is, do any of these groups seem interesting to you? Uh, no. They do not. <laughs> Who do you he's want like, to join? Like, he's just not interested. Like, he's... It kind of... It's hard to explain, because he's not going to go out of his way to explain it explicitly. Uh, maybe this is a thing for we can talk about in Table Talk. But he's not going to just, like... People can't just, like, come up to him and just, like, say, Hey, do you want to join our group? It's not... It's not going to inspire him. Uh, they're here because they heard about this place opening up. That's why they want to send representatives to see if you want to join the factions. Yeah, I'll, um, uh, the I'll rumor, the rumors of the or the rumors later. of a group of adventurers opening up this place again has spread across Waterdeep, across all the factions. Yeah, I'll I'll have a chat with you um, later about his thought process and motivations. Absolutely. We can have that. Anyone else have 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 any thoughts about these factions? I'm already uh, in my. Yeah, you're already, uh, uh, yeah, and you uh, get uh, a re uh, renown one renown for your service. Uh, oh wait, you're not done with your mission yet. You have to report in. Actually, can I trade that in for uh for like some tokens or something? No, but you have to get back to uh, the headquarters to get your official invite and to make sure that and to tell that you have uh, done the mission and it's eh, it's finished. 
you can do that uh, today or you can do that uh, the day after tomorrow. There was no time go. frame. There was there was no time frame for this uh, particular mission. I'll, I'll travel with Derlin when he goes to the branch off. You cut out a lot. Oh, I'll, I'm gonna go with Derlin when he goes to the to south the Emerald north. Enclave. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll go to my guild. Okay. Um, I maybe mean, we could do that now if you want. I'll look. I'll turn into a horse. <laughs> Get us all the way there. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm gonna fix your horse token later. So, after this session, I'm gonna okay. check. I'm gonna read a, a bit of what you can transform into at certain levels. So yeah, yeah prepare tokens for that. Okay, one more try. One more wild chip. I think you have like two per short rest or long rest. Per long. It's per long. Okay, so you guys want to go now or? I'll get our way. I want to go on. He's kind of excited. Okay. Well, okay. Let's go to your thing first, get that sorted, and then we can go to mine. Alright. So we go outside, and I. Trip. Bang. Bang. Kind of gross sounding. And looks kind of. Across. Yeah. Okay. So you guys, you two are going uh, alone. The rest of you standing by, uh, standing. The, you guys are staying uh, back at uh, the Frostbite Manor. Yeah, I'm staying back here. Dale, did you want to come? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What did they? What? I'm Googling it. Wow. Damn. Sure is lag. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, me yeah. and Gail are both off to. What was your group saying at this one? Order of the gauntlet. Yes. Okay, so. So you are not there. You guys are back here. So. Turn these away. Oh, geez, I wasn't prepared enough for this. So what she wants is, f she gives you a scroll. Uh, Tetirian, uh, 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 Savra Bellabranta. She gives you a scroll that uh, she wants you to re uh, read from. It's like it's a swearing in ceremony that involves the recitation of a nose to find and destroy evil in all its form. And she also gives you uh, she also gives you a silver gauntlet that you must wear that proves that you are with uh, the order of the gauntlet. It's a symbol of the order. After the ceremony, she tells you that now you are a true member of the Order of the Gauntlet, and we 
hope to see good thing here good things about you I will come up for a pro uh, proper uh, oath for you to read about in the scroll later I was not prepared for that all right and I have and by the way you're still a horse. Yeah. <laughs> I just forget that I'm a horse. Yeah, you like, you're like waiting outside in your horse <laughs> form. Like I said, I'm gonna fix you a, a token later. So you are all done. Uh, so you're done here at. At order of gauntlets, you have received your renown, and you have now a gaunt uh, silver gauntlet that you wear instead of your normal gauntlet. Okay. You see me like walking. When you walk out, I'm gently going back and forth. Ride the horse into the sunset. Yeah, you head back uh, up to Trollskull Manor. Well, no, we were gonna go back to the. We were gonna be on Clay Path. Do you wanna be where? We were gonna go to uh, see the Emerald Enclave after that. And, um. Uh, Glamamir. The one I can't Oh, yeah, the Emerald Enclave. Oh, yeah, okay. Just the two of you. Yeah. Uh, where was there? Falcon Mare. I don't actually know how to pronounce the name of that place. There's not even a southern ward. This is the north ward, field ward, sea ward, city of the dead, castle ward, trade ward. Southern Ward. Uh, okay. That's the Southern Gate. Uh, 
I mean, it's weird that there's no sudden ward in Waterdeep. On the entire map. Okay. I can still only see the house. Yeah, I know. Because I made sure that you are only in the house so you can do whatever you want. <laughs> I learned to uh, separate certain players for doing their own thing. Cool. So while you guys do that, uh, Whipper Forth and I are going to start going through the two books that um, we got from Dala. Okay. Uh. Ah, okay, now I see. Uh. So it's down in the dock ward. I actually managed to find it in the text. So you want to join the Emerald Enclave. Mm hmm. So, yeah, so the uh, when you guys get there, it's all the way, if you guys see the map on the map, if you zoom out. Uh, yep, where the, where am I king? Yeah. Where I'm, where I'm pinging. Okay. I you can go all the way down, down here. Yeah. Right next to the high road, which we're going to take always. Yep. <laughs> so you uh, met up with... Um, a little... Uh, mm -hmm. he's, he's a druid. Uh, you met up with Melanor. He's a druid. Her name is... What? No, the name is not there, but it's is a block. Okay? Yeah, it's a block south of uh, a certain place. Uh, Pelican Moor and Pelican Mare is uh, owned by the Tarman uh, Pelican noble families. Melanor, who uh, Melanor Felbranch, who is a uh, Halfling Druid and delivers missions by the way of animal messengers, uh, messenger spell, and is uh, partial to using cats and pigeons as cur couriers. He quickly assigns new members their first mission. I actually, no, he's not, he's an half elf druid, so sorry. With these changes, Melnor. Yeah. So Melanor wants to offer you a membership and uh, gives uh, directly gives you your first mission to do, if you're interested. Uh, yeah. Oops. Interested. Yeah, so what he wants to, you to do... Uh, 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 first off... Uh, first off... Uh, Melanor introduced them to the Lady of the Estate, a noblewoman, uh, noblewoman turned uh, demigod and chosen of Meliki, named Jers 
Palcoon. Jared, uh, the only member of her family who currently resides at Polgamir, manifest as a disembodied female voice that can be heard by anyone in the villa gardens. She offers uh -huh. membership ships in the enclave and bestows on each new member a charm of restoration. Okay. Jared also offers so. Palkemir as a safe haven for enclave members and their friends. Okay, so I have a charm of rest of, of resting or restoration or something? Yes. Charm of restoration. Okay. And then Palkamir can be used as a uh, safe haven? Yes, it can. Awesome. So what you uh, want you to do for as you for, uh, as you were you are giving your first mission. Uh, okay. The outlying farms are being terrorized by a scarecrow come to life. It has slaughtered livestock, chased horses, and spooked farmers. No uh, people have been killed as yet. So the city guard, so the city guard is dragging its heels. Okay. So. Uh, uh, something must be done. We will. I will get right on that to deal with this mysterious scarecrow. So, are you? So are you like to asking Gail for help, or are you gonna ask the rest of the guys to help you as well? Uh, I'm gonna help. Gail, are you willing to help me with this? You help me with mine. I'll help you. Uh, well, that's awesome. Thank you. Um, I would like to go ask the rest of the group. I think they'll find this entertaining. We can take the high road. <laughs> I rode all the way back. It actually does lead back to them. I was following. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Huh. Okay. Um, I'll move us there. You're no longer a horse. Oh. Back. Well, I guess it's gonna be a nice long walk back. Uh, hey actually, went... where where are we going exactly to deal with the scarecrow? Outside the city. And the outlying farm. Okay. Far, the outlying farms. Uh, so I guess we walk back to Troll Skull Alley. Troll Skull Alley. Yeah, you can walk all the way back. It's gonna take you a while. It's gonna be dark when you get back. Yeah, we can rest. I can get my things back. My wild shape. Uh, when I get when we get there, can I um, find um, the rest of the group and see if they'd be interested? Yeah, yeah. sure. I guess Persephone is probably downstairs at the, um, and so is probably Dale actually. Um, are both of you downstairs, or Persephone are you upstairs with um? Uh, I'm at the bar talking with the ghost. Oh, okay. Um, 
so me and Gale, I guess, enter. Um, and as soon as I see you, I go, not like running, but I kind of jog over and sit down next to you. So how's the ghost? What? You were talking to the ghost. Yeah, well, he didn't respond. I mean, I can't talk for him. The DM has to speak for his side. Uh, well, he just writes um, stuff. Okay. So, how did it go with your stupid faction? This new uh, charm. Make sure the charm. Um, it's it's yeah. for restoration. Oh. Yeah. And told me that I have to go deal with a scarecrow in the outlining farms that are destroying crops and killing animals. Hmm. Yay. Would you like to join? It'd be fun to deal with something magical. Mm, no. <laughs> it does sound like a fiend. <laughs> uh, join yes, you. it does. Okay. Well, if Dale, you're welcome. I'm just stay here, but you'll. <sighs> do they have anything to do with the Zentarium? The Scarecrow? Or the people that you're gonna go help with this Scarecrow? Um. Maybe. Uh, this the Scarecrow could have been brought to life by the Zentarium. We don't know. Fine, I'll come. Okay, uh, take a uh, five minute break, guys. Okay. Get up, get up. All right. So I will gonna I be to right back here. Go, though. I need to take a quick break. I am out of wild. What is this? So that's what, like he said that I have a scroll and I'm writing it down. And so that's all the information I'm writing down for the oh. um, Harpers. I was just showing you because like I found that online and I thought I'd show you. Fancy. <laughs> I like it. Well, I have a Word document that is telling every single person that I meet so that I know. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll show you. And I have it color coded. So like. It, so I, cause I'm not gonna remember. So like I have Yagra or Yagra and I, like she's her name is in green, which means that she and I like each other. And then anyone from the Emerald Enclave, I've written their name in red because I don't like them. <coughs> and like I've written down everybody's names, but for this one, since it's just the scroll that I'm giving to the Harpers, it's just it's black. I was just showing you because I spent time working on it. Okay. Hey. Okay. I can't hear you. You went to a robot. Thank you.
Okay, I'm back, guys. Um... Welcome back. Hello. So I'm gonna just fix a small, small map. So we have uh, something to reference us with. Why should you just message me anytime? Okay, there we go. I sent that a while ago. Oh, sorry. Oh, never mind. Okay, so you guys are back in the manor. Uh, it's getting dark. You have you're gonna tell the uh, rest of the guys that you have a mission. Yeah, thank you, but now <laughs> you are a robot. I think we already told everyone about the mission. Yeah, so you guys can like uh, take a long rest and uh, wake up in the morning. I check in on the Change out one spell. Yeah, so when you're ready, you're waking up and eating breakfast. You feel that you're ready. Are you gonna. Dirty, are you gonna take the rest of the guys to where you wanna go? Yeah. So um <clears throat> actually, would it be okay if I didn't go on this mission with them and I left early? There's actually something I need to do, so I figured since they're all going I could just go in my room and read a book, and then pop out. Sure thing. Sorry, my husband just told me he wanted to do something with me for my birthday, and I didn't. I wasn't aware of it. He didn't know what time this ended. Uh, we are about. We're gonna end in about fifty, fifty-five minutes. Okay. Well, um, I just won't go on the mission with them, and I'll go ahead and hop out now. And I'll just be in my room um, reading books and writing down on my scroll for the Harpers. Sure thing. Oh, wait, what the shit happened? 
Okay, and then I will 100% be here next week. Just let me know if we start 30 minutes late or whatever, and I'll be here. I'm completely free next week. Yeah, and also... Uh, wait, uh, go into the private chat. Just you, Athena. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay, <laughs> so... Uh, the players are gonna level up to level 3. But they don't know it okay, yet. So, good. so you can level All up right. in secret, but don't tell anyone. For, ne uh, okay, for um, the I... next time. Okay, I actually will wait for Carter to level up because he helps me with that. But I'll wait till after, and I'll do it later tonight. Yeah. Okay. Do that. Well, also, wait. look what I made. Hold on. I made some. I'm gonna give it to the Harpers. <laughs> And they did all fancy. <laughs> Whoa, that's that is actually pretty good. Jesus. Thank you. Yeah, so that um just because I'm writing it all down and I figured like just to keep it all straight it'd be nice to have it on paper. And then plus I can show it to Natalie when she gets back next week and say like this is what we learned, this is what we're giving to the Harpers and so on and so forth. Yeah, that is a very um, good uh, scroll that you can actually write on. Yeah, thank you. Um, so I will let you guys go. I'm sorry for bouncing so early. Um, no But problem. I figured since they're going to do this mission, I won't miss out on much. Yeah. You won't okay. miss out. Well, bye-bye. Have fun. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Bye -bye. laughs> so I'm back. We just had a secret conversation. Ooh. Am I still a robot? No, you said fine to me. No. Hmm. Hey, hell, do you have a minute? Still... Uh, yeah, I do. You wanna talk here or in the private chat? Uh, private chat for now. Okay. Hey, hey. What's on your mind? Yep. So, um, it's to do with Boisvain's motivations and stuff. So, the reason he's not picking a faction is because, like I said, he's super into this Arthurian concept of chivalry. So, for him, he doesn't feel like he's achieved like a a sufficient standard of errant knighthood to warrant like joining a faction or gaining a claim he still feels he needs to like go out and do the knight errant thing and quest and do good deeds and he's like in his mind he's on this redemption path and so he needs a very like he needs a very specific he's got well rather he's got this very specific idea of what it means to sort of be asked to join one of these these factions so like having oh hey we heard that you're like new adventurers and do you want to join our our club doesn't really gel with him think of it like getting knighted in like you know charlemagne's court or king arthur's court or one of these you know not even like the actual 15th 16th century but like in the romantic period um when they were writing all that ridiculous fiction about it that's kind of where he's at mentally and so that's why he's not interested in joining any of these factions yeah the, it, it's uh, not uh, like uh, you do have the options of not joining you don't have to join a faction you can stay out of a faction if you don't want to you can actually well, i'm not even talking like mechanically yeah like that's like it's store for he's not joining for story reasons like, yeah. it does not fit his story. Like, he would not feel adequate to join any group of, like, people. Like, do you ever, are you familiar with that Groucho Marx quote? like, I would not join a club that would have me as a member. No, not really. No. So he was talking about, like, I mean, he was sort of looked down upon, A, because of, because of lots of reasons. Um, you know, his ethnicity, he was Jewish. He was, you know, seen as, like, his comedy was seen as lowbrow. 
But as he got more and more successful, of course, people got more and more interested in having him be a part of whatever their club was. And so he, you know, was invited to join all these clubs and he was once, at least, you know, it is said that he once said, I would not join a club that would have me as a member. Um, meaning that, you know, anyone who'd have someone as sort of low and uncouth as him, like they're clearly not bringing him on board for the right reasons. So he would not join that club, right? It, it's just, you know, humorous elitism and his his take on it. A bit like Caddyshack. Yeah, it's understandable. So that's, yeah, that's kind of where he's at mentally. So, yeah, like it's not, that's why he's not interested in joining any of these things. He just see these, sees these people as like, also because of his previous experience with, you know, like criminal criminal factions and how all that works and how they only bring you on and into the fold so that they can exploit you for something. So he's like, he's not a, he's not, really a joiner he's kind of looking for um an example of knighthood to follow rather than a club to join and he hasn't met anyone who's like impressed him with the conviction of their values or anything like that yet does that make sense yeah it uh, makes total sense so you can uh, uh... You can uh, li uh, like watch the others do their missions and. Uh, oh yeah, he's still totally going to help out. But yeah, you can he's like gonna uh, you, you can help someone impressive. Yeah, so if, if uh, maybe one of the faction that your friends uh, are have joined kind of looks mm, interesting, you. No, it's not going to be. That's not going to be what gets him on board. It's going to be. He's going to have to meet someone that he finds, like exemplifies the standards of chivalry that he is holding himself to. Hmm. So he's going to have to meet like a King Arthur or a Galahad, or a someone that he can look up to as an example of like chivalry. Does that does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. that makes more sense. Absolutely. So, yeah. Uh, like, like, like I said, uh, the first time we did uh, chapter two, we started chapter two with the faction stuff. It's absolutely optional not to join a faction. There's no, there's no requirement that you need to join a faction. It's. I mean, like uh, I said, he he yeah. would yeah. if he met the right, like Perfect. if he met the right sort of role model. Um, like someone who could inspire him, but yeah. you know, like I said, I'm I'm happy to just like play and see how those interactions go. Yeah, you can like wait until the last chapter to finally uh, say, oh, you can and now this person has some really nice chivalry in him or really good chivalry, or knighthood and. This person really inspires me to join. For example. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. And you can um, actually just... be like level four. You can actually be uh, the last chapter or the next chapter. It, it doesn't really matter if you. And it doesn't really matter anything. Uh, the story is not going to be affected by anything if you don't join them too. So. Cool. I just wanted to um yeah. to have a quick chat with you about yeah. that because yeah, so uh, the story is yeah. uh, the story is not going to be changed or anything. It's uh, nothing special is going to happen if you don't join. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I, I expect for uh, 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 maybe just uh, you're going to miss out uh, some of the rewards, but that's that's for later. Yep, that's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Alright, okay. cool. No worries. Thanks, man. Yeah. Okay, so we're back. You guys are rest fully rested, and uh, uh, you guys want to prepare new spells and everything? Uh, yeah. 
So you guys have a chance to do that. Uh, I think I'm You are a, dropping. Can out I change again. cantrips or just spells? Uh, just spells. Just spells. No cantrips. So, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna travel you all the way out to the other wards, uh, to the farmlands. I'm gonna give you a quick peek on where it is on the map. It's like out here in the farmlands. You guys see the map? Mm hmm. Yep. So these are. Yes, yep. So these are all the farmlands. So I'm gonna take you to a map I just found. Sick. Oops, wrong guys. I thought this was a teddy bear. <laughs> okay, I haven't made it. I just uh, found it in this map, so I haven't made any dynamic light and stuff like that. So you get to a farmhouse that's uh, been reported having issues with scarecrows coming to life. Uh, but uh, they're only coming Great. to life at night. Okay. Um. And it's like the middle of the afternoon. You actually see three scarecrows, uh, but you don't actually. Uh, yeah, I could say that. I go up and I poke one, like, with my sword in the chest. Gonna ritual cast. You can actually see you can actually see three, three scarecrows, but they are just standing there like uh, automatons. Oh. Uh, they 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 they're, they're just not moving. They're just standing there like normal scarecrows, scaring off uh, animals, birds for destroying not destroying the crops. I'm a poker. Yeah, no, uh, nothing <laughs> happens actually. Nothing happens. And no, the uh, Gale, you do not detect any magic. Well, I ritual cast this. It doesn't get a slot. And I got it up for 10 minutes and I'll walk around. Yeah, well, you don't sense any magic at all. Uh, you actually spend uh, the entire afternoon and, and the evening here, so it's getting a little bit dark. So, uh, all three of you, roll me a percentile dice for me, a d100. All three of you. Mm. 
Thank you. Two. That's a D10. Roll a D100, Gale. I'm trying to, but I forgot how to roll. <laughs> you wrote roll 1D00. You, you just the other one. Oh, you just press the dice thing. Christ. No, no, no one uses that here. <laughs> okay, just so you know, first vein, when it's getting dark, you see, you notice that, oops, this that scarecrow one that I can't see. is starting to move. Oh, yeah, you should be able to see. There's no... Oh, no, no, I can see him on the map. I'm just saying that worse event would not be able to see him because there's a building in the way. Oh, yeah. But you're starting to hear. Pass. Where's that? Where's the end? Yeah, I huh? could hear him. Uh, you start, you're starting to hear like a crackling noise. I'm but, actually, no, I'm going to go around the other way. I'm so. Gonna go... Roll perception. Uh, uh, why don't you yeah. go back here and roll perception? Okay, give me a sec. <sighs> My perception is not that bad, but I roll like shit. Uh, you think you hear something uh, that uh, does not sound like uh, natural, but you don't. You can't see it. You don't. Uh, you don't know where it is. Okay. But you can, uh, uh, I'm do... going to ask Whipperforth to look for it. Okay. Because he can fly. So he's going to get up onto a into a high place and look for the thing. Look for the source of the noise. Okay. Shall I roll a check for him? Yes. Roll a perception for him. Hmm. There we go. Nope. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah. He we have the same he's, perception he's, modifier. Yeah, he spots. He he spots a uh, scarecrow moving around in the crops. Okay. With, like crackling, right. like wooden. And hay and stuff like mm, sound. Gather friends. I see a demon afoot. I'm gonna jump over this fence. The fourth is gonna like come up here and perch on this. And uh, hang on a second. Let me check my movements here. I'm gonna cast right, blast. I can get one, two, this far. Okay, so everyone roll initiative. Do I cast bless before or after? The... Uh, you can cast bless before. So everyone has two attack rolls and throws. Did it... no, it didn't. Okay, hang on a sec. I'll roll again and use my original one. Definitely using my original my original initiative. Okay, so uh, Preservain, you go first.
What do you do when you see the scarecrow moving around? I take out my sword. Yeah. And uh, can I? Do I have movement back? Can I move? Yeah, you can move. Okay, cool. I take my sword out and I take my shield out and I move towards it and uh, I hit it. And I say, Avoid fiend! And I hit it with my sword. Roll an attack. You have that. This will be a nine. Yep. Yeah. It, yeah, you can use the d4. You do have bless. Yeah. That would be a, a 10. That is a miss. Gale. You see only this scarecrow alive. There's a bush. Wait, right? wait. A bush? I would like to take a bonus action to shove the creature. Okay, do a bonus action. It's like, like a just shove. <laughs> uh, which I think is a strength yeah. check. Yes, it is. Versus his. It's a strength athletics versus his strengths. Or acrobatics. Yeah, or, or acrobatics, yes. Choose which one. Athletics for sure. Yeah, he's not gonna beat that. You gotta play. Wow. I believe he is not prone. Definitely. He is not prone. Awesome. That means. Oh, well, that means Gale's gonna possibly have advantage on him when he swings. Yeah, if he Ooh. gets within melee range. Does Ripper Fourth go on my turn or does he yeah, have his own yeah, turn? Yeah, yeah, he goes on your turn. All right, he's not going to do anything right now. He's just going to watch. Yeah. He sits. He sits on the roof on the in the storage. Yep. So Gail, what do you okay. do? What do you do? Before I move, I tell Durlin to follow us over here. Sneeze, scarecrows come to life. And then I right next to uh, Persevere on the ground. Pick up my mace. I'm gonna smack him. Go ahead and smack him. Yeah, you hit him with your mace. But it feels like uh, when you hit the scarecrow, it feels like you s swing at him, but something is off with your hit. It doesn't feel like you hit him with the full force. All right, that's all I can do, I think. Yeah, that's all. That's the end of my turn. Uh, do I sound okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to dire wolf. Okay. That's the... Uh, it's terrible. I pack tactics. One. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna run. You are cutting out a lot. And try. So you're gonna die, wolf. Run up, use your pack tactics to gain advantage on the attack. Is what I think you're. Yep. Uh, you have a token you can transform into. You have a token you can use on your journal. Wait, use that. isn't he prone and therefore already advantage? Yes, yep. he has. But so you have him. double advantage. Quadruple advantage.
You just drag it. You just drag it. You hold them. Just drag. Is the dive of is the dive of large? I think it's large. Okay. Yeah, it's large. Okay. Okay. So do your attacks. Um, it's not quite, there's no button to hit on the sheet. <laughs> oh. Bite, there you go. Uh, so 20. 20 is a hit. And 10 piercing damage. But you also feel that you, when you, yeah. when you like bite him, you you feel the same sensation that something's off with your attack. You, you also doesn't hit with the full, with the full force. Oh. Okay. Also, I need to be re-added to the turn order. It was taken off for some reason. Uh, and that's my turn. Uh, you're you're uh, the last one now. Uh, I can see you on the turn order. Oh, I can't see myself. All I see is the uh, Persevane and Miguel, and then the Scarecrow. It's probably because he got rid of your or hid your token. For yeah, the wolf. I hid your token for the wolf, so I I know it's oh, okay. when it's your I know it's when it's your turn, so don't worry. Okay. So the scarecrow is gonna stand up, use half its movement, uh, and. He's going to make a glare at Persevain. So I want you to make a wisdom saving throw, Persevain. You yeah. barely succeeded. I was going to say, I'm going to go ahead and guess I didn't save. <laughs> that is just barely safe. Oh, that's good enough. Yeah, wisdom is not my strongest one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's the Scarecrow's turn. I, I laugh a little too boisterously at him to show that I am not afraid. Okay. And I hit him in the face. Okay, go ahead and hit him in the face. <laughs> D4. You still got that D4. I honestly don't think it's gonna matter. <laughs> you never know. Didn't you already use 11? 11. You hit. No. You I hit. hit. <laughs> Alright, I, because really? I am wielding a, um, I'm wielding a sword in one hand, that means I get to add 2 to that damage roll. So it's uh, 10 slashing damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, do a uh, two handed? Because I, well, because I have dueling as my fighting style. Oh, yeah, okay. And also, yeah, but you also get the same sensation for some reason that your damage does not fully comply. Thou art a demonic straw beastie. Feel my blade. I feel like you're, when you're, sl when you get slashing and biting, you feel like you don't hit anything inside. Just hollow. <gasps> it's Dark Souls. 
Gale. Dark Souls 1 and 2. I cast... Toll the Dead. He has to make a Wisdom saving throw. Yep, or take 9 damage. Well, he totally fails. So he takes nine damage. He actually, oh, sorry, wrong one. He takes the full force. Oh damage. wait, can I use my bonus action to shove him again? Um, not yet, uh, not now. <laughs> not now, you have to wait next turn. Damn it! You have to remember uh, them. It's fair, 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 fair. Don't fair. worry, I'll get cool, it. Cool. Durden, your turn. It's me. I, Durlin, shall use my bite to demolish this guy's ass. Okay. That'd With, be a 12. Uh, you have advantage because of the pack tactics. That'd be a 15. Yes. And he has to make a DC 13 save or be knocked prone. <laughs> He's probably gonna fail. Yeah, he fails, so he takes a little bit of damage. Nine. Excuse me. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Uh, is anyone injured? Has he hit anyone yet? No, nope. he's he hasn't. And he's not prone. Sick. So, the Scarecrow again. He's gonna stand up. And he's gonna turn towards the wolf. And he's gonna s make... He's gonna make two attacks against you. Ooh. With his claw. Does the 17 hit you? Um, as a dire wolf? Yeah. Yes. Yes, okay. it does. So you take 7 slashing damage, and I want you to make a wisdom saving throw. Do I use my, my creature stats or my stats? Your stats. Your stats. Okay. Oh, oh, oh this will hopefully. <laughs> Why did it go? You have to go to your sheet. It should be a plus. That's the dire wolf's wisdom saving for you use. Well, I'm I clicked on my sheet. I don't know why it's doing that, but it it is a plus six. Plus the four, which is bless. Yeah, so you did, you rolled a 13. The plus the 19, th actually, because it's six plus the four plus the nine. Where do you get the six? The six is my wisdom save modifier. It's plus six. The four is the bless that I added. Yeah, but to you it. rolled a nine. You rolled a three plus six. Oh. Yeah, the nine, the wisdom say that's your your modifier. The nine oh. is your actual roll plus four. That's your bless. Wow, I rolled shitty. Okay. okay. Well, you succeed. You're not frightened, but he's gonna <laughs> attack you again. What? What am I at for? Yeah, that misses. Yeah. How much damage did you do the first hit? It was seven. 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 Okay, I'm at thirty. Oh, once I get my freaking next. Okay, My your next, next level. That shit's not gonna happen again. All right. Uh, cool. I am going to uh, attack him again. Are you gonna miss to... again? I hit him once. <laughs> I am not going to miss him again. Yeah, you're definitely not gonna miss him again. Uh, and uh, that's so that's nine slashing. Damn. Yep. And I'm going to say, Taste my blade, fiend! 
I'm gonna. Are you just <laughs> slash into the like uh, nothingness, nothingness? Yeah, in just, this body. I'm just trying to chop away at the stick that sort of makes up most of his body. Okay. Anything else? You want to shuffle yes. him again? Yes, I am going to shove him yeah, and okay. try to knock him prone. Do that. Beat you definitely, that, you definitely you do. Scarecrow. You definitely do that. He is down. <laughs> Gale. Uh, my strength modifier is ridiculous. Gale. I'm gonna stand over him and I'm gonna cast all the dead. And it's a wisdom saving throw. He fails in. He just turns to hay and wood. <laughs> but right, right after he, he dies, you hear, right after you, he he crumbles, you hear another the same sound behind you. Like this one is starting to move. D okay. This guy, this guy here is starting to move now. All right. So with my movement, I go here. We before Zach uh, telepathically tells you this. First vein. He notes cool. that the other cool, cool, uh, another cool, cool, cool. scarecrow comes to life. All right. Uh, I'll move on my turn. I go there. Uh, Darlene, your turn. Okay. So I'm <laughs> going to look at uh, Persevane and motion for him to get on my back. <laughs> and then carry him over. <laughs> well, he, he can't do that until his next move, uh, next turn. That's fine. I'll wait. I'll patient you're patient okay scarecrow's uh, turn unless you're doing anything else i i can't really until he's on my back okay i want that advantage man mm, gail roll me wisdom saving throw okie doke Oh, I got it. Uh, 22. Yeah, you are definitely not terrified. First way. Okay, I'm just going to move as far as I can towards him, which is there. Um, I got... No, I got nothing ranged, uh, so I can't do anything. But uh, oh wait, that's no wait, that's I not true. I have a crossbow. Okay. I've been off. So I have jam. never used it, uh, but I do believe I have one. Okay, one so you're gonna stow your sword and I'm take out your crossbow. I'm gonna put my my sword away, rack my shield, take out my crossbow, and I'm gonna take a shot at this guy. I miss. Two. I miss yeah, real good. Yeah, you definitely. I might do. hit the other <laughs> scarecrow. Your arrow just hits the, this wall right here and just just being it's destroyed. Damn it, Gail. Um. Well, since I'm at a distance now. I'm going to stay at a dip. And I'm going to cast... Where is it? I'm going to cast this. First level. The Scarecrow. For 22. Yeah, that definitely hits. Next attack on him has advantage. Yeah. 
and he takes the full force of that damage. And that's my turn. Yeah. Darlin, your turn. With my 15 movement, I'm going to move up to this scarecrow and bite it. Okay. That's all I got. <laughs> Go ahead and bite. Yeah, you definitely bite it. Ah! Take that 12, pier 10, 12 piercing damage and well, DC he, Your bite doesn't. Uh, still doesn't have the full effect. Take 6 biting damage. <laughs> and the uh, wisdom uh, strength saving throw. And he's not knocked prone, he stands up. Damn it. I growl so, it. Yeah, so the scarecrow is gonna make he's gonna claw against you. So I'm guessing 20 hits? Maybe. Mm. Uh, roll me a wisdom saving throw. Why? Why am I rolling threes? You, you are now scared. And no, you, you take... still got the d4. Getting, there's no I already on that used one. it. No, it's it safe. Good? Yeah, it's uh, yeah. persists. It's uh, as long as Gale maintains concentration. Yep. Four, it's four, not one, like eight. it's not like guidance. Oh no! So yeah, you fail. Yeah, he fails. So you're now frightened, and he has advantage uh, on his next attack against you because you're frightened. Great. Does a fourteen I think hit you? That misses. Fourteen? Yeah. Oh, actually, I think it might. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. So you take tw total of twelve damage. Great. And at eighteen. Let's see. I wonder if you have to make another frightening. I think it's just persists. Yeah, it's persist until the next, till the end of the scarecrow's next turn. So after his turn, you're not frightened anymore. Oh, no! Yeah, until the end of the scarecrow's next turn. So yeah, you're frightened of him. Don't I have to run run away? No. That's the that's like the fear spell. Gotcha. It's Peswain. <laughs> Have you marked the damage on your sheet, by the way, uh, Darlin? Your house, I mean. What? I can, I can figure. It doesn't like. It's not too right. Am I like? Um, yeah, it, nineteen. It does, on the dire wall sheet, it's not me. Yeah, nineteen. Yeah, he takes the. He takes the damage. Anything else you want to do, Pesvain? You want to try and knock him prone? He is resisting your push. Gale. I move there, and I cast Toll the Dead. Okay, Wisdom saving throw. Roll. Roll Toll the Dead. 
I thought I did. Hasn't shown up yet. Oh, there it is. Okay, so nine damage. Uh, but he succeeds, so he does, doesn't take any damage. Damn. Alright, uh, that's my turn. Let's save one spell slot. Yeah. Darlin, you're frightened of the Scarecrow. Okay, does it mean I disadvantage? Or yes, you have disadvantage like on your attack. But since you um, have, have advantage, advantage yes, yeah, since you have advantage because press wins there, it's just uh, straight roll. Uh, yeah, it's a straight roll. It nullifies. How does a twenty-three do? Yeah, it does well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's pretty well. Piercing damage and strength saving throw. And and a strength saving throw. Yeah, he's not prone. Yay! So it's the Scarecrow's turn, and he's gonna stand up and try to hit... Persevain with uh, two claw attacks. Does a 14 hit you? Persevane. I don't think I had something. Persevane. <sighs> I'm, yeah, I'm gonna guess those two doesn't hit. Okay. I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know what, like, my mic just stopped working for some reason. No, they don't hit me. Not even close. Yeah. Okay, your turn. And, uh, Derlin, you're not frightened of him anymore. Cool. Ah. All right. I'm going to hit him again. I'm a swing, but better, better. Swing. That is a critical hit. Yeah, that's nineteen. Plus, so that's nineteen plus two, so that's twenty-one. Yeah, twenty-one. Okay, so how do you want to finish because off this scarecrow? How do you how do you want to finish this? Uh, I am going to. Uh, like a. Uh, Japanese swordmaster doing the thing where they cut the rolled up tatami on the bamboo pole. Just like, like big, big backhanded chop. And then do the big spinny and then sheath my sword. Feeling very special about myself. Okay. Well, he's dead. And you also hear a clacking noise from this dude here. Coming to life. I was waiting for it. I'm going to use my movement to run straight up to this dude. And I'm going to shove him with my bonus action because I took the attack action. Yeah. I'm gonna make a Go bit of ahead. bit of a running bit of a running shoulder charge of it. Go ahead. I'm gonna give you an advantage. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah. Let's still say. twelve. It's still twelve. Oh yes. Result. Okay. I'm gonna say that since you rushed all this uh, all the way. Actually, wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm not sure you can reach him. Because this is like a fence, like you have to go around this. Not if I jump over it. 
Shall I make an ath another athletics check? Yeah, you have to make like a very uh, good athletics. Mm. Oh, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to roll that twice. You actually stumbles, fumbles over it. You're so you like. Damn. So no, I, and I'm gonna say that you are not close to them. I am close to the scarecrow either. So I'm back at the fence. Yeah, I'm gonna say that you're here. Actually, okay. here, because you like, uh, you're knocked on your I went to butt. like do the. I went to do the thing. I went to like do the, the parkour jump over it. But yeah, like, you I wanna do it with my foot. And it yeah, kind of landed on my face a little bit. Kind of parkour with heavy armor. <laughs> Definitely mm -hmm. parkour. I did, didn't. Uh, hadn't. I haven't quite adjusted to the heavy. Yeah, okay, yeah. What do you do? A third scare. Everyone looks fine. Everyone looks fine health wise. I am a bit scratched up, but I have secondary You're... health. Don't worry. How how much health do you, do your wolf has left? Eighteen out of thirty-seven. Actually, here. I want to maintain blast. I'm just gonna use Toll the Dead again. Okay. My cat. So I don't want to overclick it and have like four show up. Yeah, old twenty is a little bit slow. DC thirteen save. There it is. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Let's see if he. Oh yeah, he takes six Take damage. Six. Derlin, anything else? Um, I would like to jump over the fence. Uh, roll me a dexterity athletics, uh, athletics, uh, acrobatics do check. I use my, roll do a I use dexterity my... uh, acrobatics check with advantage because you're large. Okay. Use the wolf stat. Yeah. Uh, how do I access specific ones? Just dex, press the dex stats on your okay. on the. Ooh. Uh, that be an eight. <laughs> uh, you like jump and. I'm not used to my body yet. <laughs> so you just jump and just fumble, and you are almost like. You see uh, Persevane la uh, uh, sitting on his butt on the other side of the hand uh, yells and... Oof. Yeah, you kind of land on his legs. <laughs> can I... I still have... Can I still move? And give, uh, I move. Yeah, you can move, but... First vein, roll a d8 for me. You take seven piercing damage from uh, uh. Darlin's claw that lands on your legs. Why? She <laughs> 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 He thought I was gonna. He's gonna make because he's so huge. But he fumbles uh, uh, with a jump and uh, lands on your leg and scratches you. Sorry. <laughs> but you can move. You can go. Um, you can reach. You can actually reach the scarecrow. Okay. Can I bite him? <laughs> Just attack. <laughs> You are a very scary robot right now. Mm. 
Yeah, that hits. Actually, that hits pretty well. Okay, anything else? Any bonus actions? Oh, oh yeah, the strength saving throw, yes. He is not prone. So he's gonna stand up. And... Claw you with two attacks. And he crits for 10 slashing damage, and I want you to make a wisdom saving throw. So that's 12. <laughs> you just, you just uh, barely m succeeded. But here comes the next attack. I don't think an 11 hits you. Yeah. So you took 10 slashing damage. Persevane, you've been just been hurt by your fellow druid. Yeah. Oh, well. He's not my fellow druid, but yes. Uh, fe no, fellow not... friend uh, who, is, uh, who is a druid. Fellow adventurer. All right. Yeah, fellow gonna adventurer. going to get up. I'm going to move 5, 10 feet. Uh, 15 till I'm adjacent to him. Uh, and then I'm going to, like, I'm going to ignore the fact that my leg is bleeding a little bit. And I'm going to hit him. I'm going to try and ignore. I'm going to try. Yeah, just everybody ignore the fact I fell on my face. Yeah, you definitely gonna <laughs> hit with that. Uh, so that is uh, eleven points of slashing damage, uh, and okay. I'm going to shove him. With your bonus action, yes. Yes, with my bonus oh, action. Oh yeah, he you is, definitely shove him. He is very shoved. Yep. Do you actually shove him five feet backwards, or does he stand? No, it's I can choose. So I can either knock him prone, or I can shove him five feet back. Okay. So I choose to knock him prone. Okay. Gail, what do you do? Yeah. Um. I suppose. I do the old. All the dead. God. <laughs> pitiful. Pitiful, pitiful, but he might do fire damage, you never know. I feel like a warlock. I'm just casting. <laughs> he did five damage. I go. Ten. Behind uh, Purse Vein, and I start getting <coughs> ready to heal. Okay. Any bonus action? Uh, I cheer on my friends. Okay. You cheer on them. Derlin. What do you do? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So that's 21. That's. Oh. Well, the scarecrow is still alive. And he's not prone again. Actually, he was not prone, so... He's even more prone. Yeah, he's even more prone now. But he's gonna stand up. 
and claw against the wolf. For nine slashing damage. Yeah, so one damage goes over to you. And also, I want you to make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, you're definitely not scared. Uh, his next attack skull is going to be uh, against you. Against who? Against uh, Derlin. Okay. But... Man, he's got a lot of claw attacks. Mm. And he has two. Two. But he misses. Uh... Oh, there it is. Press vein. Okay, I'm going to say, let us end this. And I'm going to hit him again. Let me just bring up the thing. Uh, 21. Yeah, and you do 13 damage and you kill him. 13. Yes! I'm a, I, I shall cleave him in twain. With a big overhand chop. That was just enough to kill him. Excellent. And we are eight minutes over time. Uh, so you guys have finished your first quests. I heal a person very much. I am healed. Yeah. I saw you fall, but you got up. That's all that matters. So I'm gonna say you're back at this uh, Trolls Call Manor after a night's adventure, and you're also level three, guys. Hey! And this is where we're gonna end. Whoop, whoop. Got a oh, bunch of quests fun. done. I got a renown. Oh, I got second level spells. Yay! Same here. How does the uh, hit dice work in this one again? You just roll or take it? No, you, no, you, you, get, you, you get full of uh, full uh, maximum uh, maximum life. Okay. So. Uh, when you don't have to roll in the hit die. You get total of... Oh, I know. I just couldn't remember if what my hit die was. Hey. So I just yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'd say uh, uh, fighters yeah. get a d10 and druids get uh, a, uh, d8, druids, uh, d8. Plus modifier. You also get a d8. Yeah. So I get another 11. Yeah. I'm at 33 hit points.